Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about tag packs, an issue that many of you have been wondering about. For starters, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder of what tag packs actually are. While tags sort links, tag packs sort tags, okay? So when you handle links, you find a link on the internet and you want to pack it uh, to Tag Packer, you will assign you know, a certain number of tags that you find makes sense for that link. And after a while, you will notice that you have you know, a bunch of tags that somehow need to be sorted as well. And for that, we use Tag Packs. Another very useful function of Tag Packs is to give you an idea as to what a user is interested in. For example, with Lex, one of the founders of Tech Packer, you can see that he likes software topics, he sorts by years, and when you click on Show All Tech Packs, he actually has a whole list of other interesting Tech Packs. You could also take a look at Chris's profile, the other founder of Tech Packer. Here you can see that his way of sorting his Tech Packs and tags by that is uh, very different from Nexus way, okay? And that is one of the many beauties of Tech Packer that is actually super versatile and that you can use it however you like it, even though we do advise to follow a few suggestions that I'm gonna lay out for you in this video. When you go on to show all Tech Packs, you will get this little info button here that will give you a bunch of examples of Tech Packs that from our point of view make sense. We strongly advise you to hold off on creating tag packs until you have collected a large number of links. And by large, we would say 50, 100. It will come up like what kind of makes sense and what doesn't. But we would strongly advise also against creating a tag pack that just contains one tag, even if you plan on adding tags later on. For now, really, you know, start with an interest music and then just add different other tags like uh, you know rock and pop, R&B, Americana or whatever and sort these later okay. For more advice on how to use tag packs as well as tags you can always click on our how-to page which can be easily accessed via tagpacker.com slash how-to. You will have started out with the two tag packs that we provided for you. Link type and my interests. And these are tag packs that are very useful because they are very versatile, okay? You might have wondered what it means when it says not tagged with link type. This is just a function to help you sort your links even better. You might wanna hit not yet tagged with link type and look at the links that you have that are not yet tagged with link type. Okay, so in this case, Bhutan, a higher state of being, is an article just like Tech Packer suggested. I'll save it and you will note that the links that are not yet tagged with link type uh, are just one remaining. The best schnitzel in Toronto. Let's see, I would put it in as a restaurant. Okay, save this. So now you can tell when you open or look at your link types again, there is no not yet tagged with link type, okay? With tag packs, the idea is that you start out with general tags that will then lead to more detailed collections. One of my interests, as you can see here, is psychology. And after a while of collecting different articles, I noticed that um, I actually wanted to distinguish a little bit more than just tagging psychology. And I saw, you know, that some of the articles are dealing with relationships, some are regarding behavioral science. Then if you click on show more, you will see family therapy and sexual violence. Okay, so that would make a very nice tag pack called psychology tags. We strongly advise that you leave psychology in your interests here as it is, if you have a case like this, and just create um, a new tag pack called psychology tags. So you can actually do that when you scroll down to the bottom of the tag packs you have. So for now, you would see it right away. And you can click on new tag pack, enter a name for this tag pack, psychology tags, save. 
it will come up right here. There are no tags in this tag pack yet. And then what I can do is I can just drag and drop the tags that I need to be in that tag pack onto the psychology tags tag pack. So let's keep doing this for a second until I have, I can actually of course also click on this little settings wheel here and then move it if you can't see the tag pack, um, move it like this. I'll just finish this right here. Yep, and that's it. Here's my psychology tags tag pack and you might be interested to know that out of your 300 or out of my 322 links, I have nine that are tagged with psychology tags. And the interesting thing now is if I go to my interests, open it, click on psychology, you will actually notice that the psychology tags tag pack will move up because Tag Packer understands that lots of the tags that relate to your psychology interest are actually gathered in the psychology tags tag pack. Okay? This is how you create a tag pack and don't forget to leave us feedback um, by clicking on this button to the right here or send me an email via pr at tagpacker.com. Thank you very much.